Hello everyone, today's recipe is a simple angel hair pasta with chicken breast, fresh vegetables, and herbs. A couple of these vegetables and herbs were personally picked from my garden. Let's get started. As you can see on the screen, there's a list of all the ingredients that I'll be using to prepare this dish. The angel hair pasta, chicken breasts, bell peppers, two kinds of tomatoes, onions, garlic, fresh parsley, basil, and cilantro. For my seasonings, I have onion powder, chicken bouillon, smoked paprika, black pepper, dry basil, and accent. On this mat, I've cleaned and cut up four chicken breasts into bite-sized pieces. In my cast iron skillet over medium heat, I'm pouring in some olive oil. I'm gonna let this oil heat up before placing in the chicken. Now I'm placing the chicken breast in the pan and I'm spreading it out so the meat can cook evenly. Next, I'm adding in my seasonings, smoked paprika and black pepper, accent and basil, lastly, chicken bouillon and onion powder. I'm gonna give my cast iron skillet a quick spin, then I'm gonna combine all my seasonings with the chicken until everything is fully coated. So I'm going to put a lid over my chicken and let it cook for 20 minutes. Next, let's cut up the bell peppers. I've already cut off the top of my bell peppers. I've removed the seeds and most of the membranes. So now I'm just going to cut around the bottom of the bell pepper and cut it into strips and remove the remaining part of the membranes. In a separate pan, I'm placing in a handful of pasta and my bell peppers. You don't have to use all these color bell peppers in your dish, just use whatever you have. I prefer to use four different colors because it makes your dish stand out more. I've diced four Roma tomatoes that I'm going to add to the pan. I have some freshly picked cherry tomatoes that I'm going to cut in half and place it in this glass bowl and set it to the side for later. These cherry tomatoes have such a sweet flavor and they're going to bring a lot of flavor to this dish. Next, I'm going to mince seven garlic cloves. I'm going to cut them up into thin slices and then dice them up into smaller pieces.
Now that my garlic is minced, I'm going to add it in the pan with the rest of the vegetables. Before I cut up these onions, I'm going to remove the stem and the root. Then I'm going to slice and dice them up into small pieces and add them into the pan with the rest of the vegetables. If you're recreating this dish for one or two people and you feel like this is a lot of food, then cut your ingredients in half. Instead of using four bell peppers, cut it down to two. Instead of using two onions, use only one. Try using two chicken breasts rather than four. This meal was created for three people. And of course, there's going to be a little bit of leftovers. This meal should last you for at least two days. Next is cutting up parsley. I'm going to bunch up the stems and with my knife I'm going to cut off the stems and finally chop up the leaves and then add them to the pan. So now I have all my vegetables in my pan and now I can place my pan on top of the stove. I'm adding chicken broth instead of water to the pasta so the pasta can absorb all that extra flavor from the broth. And I'm only adding about a cup and a half of broth, which is just enough to cover the pasta because the vegetables are going to cook down and create their own juice and flavor. Now I'm adding in my seasonings. First, I'm going to add in accents. black pepper, and chicken bouillon. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to my pan as well so my pasta won't clump up. So it's only going to take 8 minutes for my pasta to cook. Once my pasta is done, I'm going to separate the noodles and mix it in with the rest of the vegetables. The chicken has been cooking for about 20 minutes and now I'm going to add in my cherry tomatoes and bell peppers and let it cook for another 10 minutes.
Now that the chicken has been cooking for 10 minutes, I'm going to mix it in with the pasta and let all these flavors blend in together. Give the ingredients one more quick mix and the pasta is complete. This angel hair pasta looks delicious. The colors are beautiful, the chicken looks tasty, and I just can't wait to eat. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye. Everything you see on these videos are not perfect. I do have some imperfections when it comes to my videos. So let's shine some light on it. Recording this video was a bit challenging because my light kept flickering on and off. I don't know what was going on, but it was a little creepy. When it came to plating my pasta, it for some reason, it never made it to the center of the plate. I would drop a little noodle here and there, and I would have to clean it off the plate to make it look more presentable.